Hey guys, how's it going? It's Justin here from Simplified Investing. I wanted to put together this video to discuss a question that I commonly get and a question that a lot of you are probably wondering. It's really, how much do you need to start trading? I get this question very, very frequently and it's something that's probably one of the most common questions that people ask me. And I will be going in this video discussing how much you need and so forth. Before I get started, if you'd like and subscribe to our channel, it would be greatly appreciated. We are pushing 500 subscribers and we can't do it without uh, your guys' help and everything that you guys do. So we truly appreciate everything that you guys do and please keep up commenting, liking, and interacting with our content. And always, if you have anything that you want put together, just feel free to let us know. So to get started, there is a very common misconception out there that you do need $25,000 to trade anything, trade your account, or specifically trade options. That is not going to be true. So basically what the $25,000, where they get that number from, is going to fall under the PDT rule, which essentially means that you need $25,000 to day trade unlimitedly. And what happens with the PDT rule is you get three day trades every five trading days. So in essence, you can still day trade even if you do fall under that 25000 What we typically have our members do is do a tier two cash account. So basically what this is, is this is going to bypass the PDT rule and say you have a $1,000 account. You can trade 10 $100 trades or whatever it might be. And the nice part about if you are trading options rather than stock, that money will be available the next day. So say I have a $1,000 trading account, spend $990, that full $990, and then the other 10 will be available tomorrow, the next day if you are trading options. One thing that I'm branching off into, as you'll notice, is I'm talking about options. That's specifically what our team teaches and really what you can use to see a return with a smaller amount of capital. Many people start our team with, I'd say, less than $250 simply because options trading does give you leverage that simply other trading cannot. So trading stock, no doubt you do need a bigger capital and a bigger portfolio simply due to the fact that if you're trading any large cap stock or something of that nature, the move is just not going to be rewarding. You may see like a two cent, four cent move or something, for example, or a dollar move, and you need to really capitalize with a bunch of shares in order to do that. However, with options, you can really increase your return. You do increase your risk, but you're getting leverage. For example, on Amazon, obviously that's going to be almost $2,600 a share, whereas you can trade an option on Amazon for say less than $100 and see a 1,000% return when you won't see a 1,000% return likely within the next 10 years on Amazon. That's truly where options come in and why we truly preach options to all of our members and even those of you who aren't our members. Options, in my opinion, especially if you do have a smaller account, are going to be the best thing to do or the best thing to start out with when you are getting traded or when you are trading, excuse me. So basically, if you are, again, trading regular stock, you will need more capital. However, options will give you that leverage by trading contracts, so you don't need 25,000 to start. Like I mentioned, a majority of the people trade with $250. Now, the next question I always get is, how do I know how much I should put into my account? And really, this is no simple, you should put in $250 or whatever it might be. It's going to be really challenging to say, put a number on each person. What I always tell people with is trade with the amount that you're comfortable with. Obviously, if you have, say, 8,000 in your savings, for example, and you're trading with 8,000 or 7,500, you're going to be very emotionally attached to that money. So what I really recommend people doing is trading with what they're comfortable with. Say you use 10% of whatever you have or Ultimately, whatever you are comfortable with, as you know, tr with trading, there is nothing that's given. If you accept that and understand that it could be a loss, then that's the amount that you can use. If you're comfortable with losing that amount putting in, then that's what you can use. Again, I've seen this far too many times. Don't put all of your money into your trading account in hopes of getting big, rich, and quick, fast. It's simply not going to work. And it's something that is going to take time and patience. It's not going to be something that is overnight. So again, guys, make sure you're trading with a comfortable balance on your account. 
what you'll have what will happen is if you aren't trading with a comfortable amount within your account what you'll see is you'll likely let emotions take control of your trades and that will set you 10 steps behind every other trader that does play with a comfortable amount in their account and this goes to another point don't throw all your money in like i mentioned before i've seen this far too many times and then people get stuck with say swinging a position overnight and then they're putting all of their money into one position then overnight that doesn't work their way and then they're stuck there without that money that they could have used so again guys trade with what you are comfortable with i can't stress this enough i've seen far too many people putting all of their money to their name into their trading account and that's simply not the way to go what you can do is start start with a little bit amount or a little amount and grow that or say get your feet wet and trade for six months to a year and then gradually add more money to your account just have patience and don't throw it all in at once. Now leads to the last thing. Compounding really pays off in your trading. So say you start with $250 and you continuously compound this with day trading and you can even swing trade as lottos. That can grow your account exponentially too. You don't have to put in $100,000 or $25,000 with options. They really provide you with that leverage and growth that is going to be available with trading a small account. Again, one last point before I end this, that you guys don't have to put all of your money into your trading account. Make sure you're comfortable with your account balance and comfortable with your ultimate portfolio. So again, guys, if you could check out our team at simplifyinvesting.site, we'd love to teach you guys more, have you guys get our daily alerts and also our YouTube live stream as well as course. As always, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below and hope you guys all had an amazing day. Thank you.